The streets in Caracas are calm, at least for now. Y ahora vamos a cobrar. Opposition leader Maria Corina Mochado calling for rallies on Saturday to defend the will of the Venezuelan people. Mira. Sunday's election led to bloodshed. More than 1,000 people arrested and around 20 killed by security forces, including a 15-year-old boy, his family says. Le dispararon a quemar ropa. His sister says he was shot at close range. An analyst telling Global News change in the country likely depends on Venezuelans withstanding more crackdowns. When the international community stops paying attention, when people stop turning out in the streets, that's what exactly the Maduro government is hoping for, is that then it can sort of normalize and survive and move on. Nicolas Maduro claimed victory in Sunday's election. Polling shows that's not what happened. Mexico, Brazil and Colombia calling for Maduro to show proof. The U.S., though, had enough, saying Edmundo Gonzalez won. He stood in for Machado after suspect charges prevented her from running. International pressure potentially building to change. Their hope is to send signals to the members of the Maduro government and members of the armed forces and security forces to say, look, this government probably can't last six years. You have an opportunity now. You have an exit ramp. Around 8 million Venezuelans now live outside their home country. They left the faltering economy and failing democracy. Sabatini says for the first time, Venezuelans are united behind the opposition. If change comes, he says, it could start now. And so many people could return home. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.